in the great philosophies of our religion. Today we buy bananas and coconuts from the vendors that the Brahmin priests may have them blessed for us at the shrine of the goddess Shamandi, who is our goddess of art and culture. I work for the kindly Maharaja of Bakor as a Mahout, that is a trainer and driver of elephants. I ride the great bull Tila, as did my father before me. Tila is as one of my family. Ganga! Ganga! What is wrong, Kuba? The cow elephant, Bama, is dead. Two days out on the road, she suddenly became sick and sluggish. There in the jungle, the little one was born. Not a little female. Her little one? I... Oh, well, you see, I had to stay with her in the jungle. For four days, I camped. Then, feeling that both animals were strong enough to travel, I mounted the head of Baba and started back to the palace. Yes? She became ill and sluggish. I drove her on. But suddenly, she stumbled and fell dead in the jungle. Where did you leave them? Why, in the clearing near the Jalpak ravine. She lies there by a huge rock. But let me tell you this. Her tracks are plain, Akbar. She went that way. Why don't you go up? Maybe you can see her. Good idea.
Akbar. I see her. And so what else is there for me to do but to send you back to your village? This is the fifth time you have openly broken the rules of a Mahout. But Excellency, my village of Shalpur is far to the north. There is no work for a Mahout in my village. For this I am sorry, Cooper. You will then have to till the soil as the other villagers do. Excellency, I... Even though you would send me from your employ, my, my affection for you is strong. And I must tell you this. I am a worshiper of the fire demon, Sabaka. I have been told by the high priestess that if any should wrong me, Sabaka will bring her fiery wrath down upon them. But I... Do you mean to stand here and threaten the Maharaja Bakko? Oh, no, 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 no. It's only that I would not have harm come to you because of me, Excellency. Where is this uh, high priestess of whom you speak? Well, that I cannot tell you, Excellency. Only twice have I seen her. Once in the jungle near the village of Wampat. It was at night. She stood before a huge fire and told us of the fire demon Sabaka and how she would bring her wrath down upon those who were not believers and how she would protect those who worshipped and gave of their rupees. Then she said she would one day come to the jungle and rule all of the people and that great flames would come from her mouth. And you believe this? I, Excellency. One of the villagers' caller did not believe and did not give of his rupees. That very night, his whole house was burned down by the fire demon Sabaka. Kuba, where in all the religious books of our people have you ever read anything of a fire demon called Sabaka? Read of the... Fi oh, but... But, Excellency, I... I cannot read. Return. Just uh, now, Excellency. And, Excellency, there is a beautiful young lady here to see you. Young lady? Did you see me? Yes, Excellency. And uh, perhaps you will ask her to dine with you, huh? <laughs> Gaga, you wish to involve me in a romance, huh? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm too busy to have much interest in young ladies. But, uh, send her in. At least I will speak with her. I hear and obey, Excellency. joke with me, eh? Huh? <laughs> it's good for you to laugh, Excellency. Akbar thought you might be angry. Angry? Why should I be angry when you bring a beautiful young lady to see me? <laughs> no, no, I am not angry. Rather, I reward you. Here is a sweetmeat I brought from Bombay. One for you. <laughs> and also one for the little one. <laughs> She is a pretty one. Here, here is a sweet little one. <laughs> uh, Ganga, did you give her her milk? You know she can have nothing but milk and uh, rice mash for a long, long time. I know this, Excellency. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, too bad we had to lose the little one's mother. <laughs> she was a good cow. What of Cuba, Excellency? Kuba has returned to his village of Jalpur. I felt sorry for him, Ganga. Like so many of our people, he cannot read. and is therefore easy prey to those who would trick him. I believe I would have kept him here had I not found out that his mind had been poisoned by those evil ones who tricked our people into worshipping a false god. What is the 
trouble, husband. The two who stand by our house are the evil ones I talked to you about. Remember, I spoke to you of the fire demon worshippers. But you did not give them any rupees, husband. That is the reason why they have come now. Listen, do you remember the boy Ganga? Yes. We just saw him riding with those who came to visit the Maharaja. I want you to take the little one and run as fast as you can. To reach him as he returns. Tell him what has happened. He'll know what to do. I... I will go. He comes near. I will go. Hurry, wife. Hurry. What do you do at my house? Answer me. What do you at my house? Have you no tongue? Can you not answer? This I do not understand. You do not speak. You do not move. I can carry you no further, my little one. I will come back for you as quickly as possible.
It's a good thing our visitors from Bombay had already crossed the river and were well on their way, Ganga. Such is so, Maharaja Sahib. The Singh, take Taru and his wife and join the others. And Taru, as for your animal, here are some more rupees with which to purchase another. Excellency, how can one of such a low cost as I no, of the words to thank you. I do not know. I... No, 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 Teru. There is no need for such gratefulness. Oh, but, Excellency, I, I do not understand. Things will be as good as before. I will have a good house and a good animal. Where both were gone. I do not know. I. Just a moment, Teru. Just a moment. I have been to a land where there is no difference in caste. And toward that end, I will work here in India. <laughs> now, go you with Singh and the others and build your new house, and may you be happy, Doctor. See you, Excellency. Yes. Said, how many of our beautiful animals have died in this fire? I am a little suspicious of this man, Tom. Suspicious? Why? No one else in the area knew anything about these uh, so called fire demon worshippers. Uh, this remark only suggests that. Possibly your uh, methods are too harsh. No. Anyway, I want these evil ones apprehended. They have become more than just a nuisance. Mm -hmm. You spoke of the boy, Highness. Mm -hmm. His tiger was loose again today. People are very frightened of it. I'm afraid there may be an accident. Come, You are quite right, General Polakar. We have enough nuisances. I will speak to the boy now. Younger, you must get rid of this time. Get rid of Taku? But, Excellency, I have raised Taku from a kitten. No, but he, he is no longer a kitten. No, Ganga. 
Taku must go. But, Excellency, if I could only... Ganga, is it not that I have enough trouble in my province with these fire demon worshippers? No, Ganga. Take Taku and turn him loose in the jungle where he belongs. I hear and I obey, Excellency. Come, Taku. That is why I have made this trip. To urge you to move on my land. I... Surprise! Ganga, oh, Ganga, my little brother, what brings you here? Kumar, you are looking very <laughs> well. <laughs> and Taru, is it that you have already left your new farm and moved back here to the village of Nanjing? <laughs> oh, no, it is only for a trip. Well, what brings you here, little brother? His Highness was upset by news of the fire demon worshippers. And because of this, he ordered me to set Taku loose in the jungle. But Kumar... You look worried. Do you know something of these fire demon worshippers who burnt Taru's house? No. No, I know nothing of them. Your, uh, your pretty sister has good news for you, Ganga. Tell them, my sweet one. Come on. Ganga. We are to have a little one. Boy. Indira, this is wonderful news, my sister. Ganga, if, if it be a boy, I should like to name him Ganga after you, my little brother. Kumar, you hear this? I hear, but, well, I thought... Kumar, when you took Indira for your wife, she was all I had. I thought I was losing my sister. But instead, I have found a big brother. I will prepare the evening meal. Let us all take leave then, Indira. Come. My elephant stands without hobbles at the edge of the village. It will not take long, Kumar. Kumar, you must come. It is dangerous to stay here. You can stay at my house until yours is built. A few more days, Taru. And I will have information about these fire demon worships. We give her one strike, then they disappear. The military can find out nothing. Taru, if it be that I am a true Hindu, then I cannot leave our poor people. Some of whom are even beginning to believe in this evil worship of Sabaka. But it will be too. No, my sweet one, I will get the water. Too much. This is woman's work. Not for you. Come, we will see the boys meet. I beg your forgiveness, Sahib. So, you would spy on us, huh? Loba, you know where this dog lives? Hey. His is the last house in the village of Najengud. You know then his pretty wife? I have not seen her. You will see her. Burn his house. See that his wife is in it. No. No. No, not my wife. Please don't quit. Now, do as I have said. No, Luba. You will not do this. Now you give the orders, eh, Ashok? I, it is about time I give the orders. Well, I will tell you this. It is one thing to burn bullocks, dogs, and goats and sacrifice to Sabaka. It is quite another thing to burn this woman. If this woman burns, the military will do more than ask questions. What can the military do? I tell you, we must put more fear into the people. More fear? 
Already they are so fearful of us that they are afraid to answer questions of the military. Fearful? Tonight only 60 of them came to the worship. We burned a bullock in sacrifice. And while he bellowed his loudest, many of the villagers left without giving a rupee. You call that fearful? I tell you that to burn a bullock, a goat, an occasional house does not put enough fear in the dogs. But burn a few of them. The rest will come crawling. Such is not so. Tonight we were competing with our true religion. They were at home making puja in preparation to the Dasara festivities. I tell you, we have done well. It is not that we have enough rupees to build the idol of Sabaka. I know. An idol will not help us. It is better to move about as we have. But we agreed. An idol deep in the jungle near Jalpur is the only... I do not like the plan. I have a plan in mind that is much better. A plan that will make us rich and powerful beyond anything that we have ever talked of. So you do not listen, huh? Listen? Of course I will listen. Come, Asha. Sit down. <laughs> you are so tall, Ishak. You must sit so I may hear your plan in comfort. Well, sit down. No, I will stand. Tell me of your plan. I say we do not build the idol of Sabaka. For a long time, we hold no worship. But each night, we pick a name from the list of unbelievers, burn his house, and then his family. Each night, a different village. A different time. Yes. Go on. Meantime, we will attend the Dathra festivities as entertainers. Of course, we will conduct ourselves as the most pious of Hindus. But we will be learning what we want to know. Then we will spread the word that Sabaka holds a great worship. Fear will drive 10, 15, maybe 20 thousands of the dogs that worship. We will work them into a frenzy. We will tell them Sabaka is angry because the Maharaja is an unbeliever. Then we storm the palace. Ah! Ah! Now you will feel the wrath of Sabaka, pretty one, as will your spying husband. Dog, this is what will happen to you if you dare to speak of this. Fire demon! Fire demon! Fire demon! Fire demon! I want you to work this terrible thing from your mind. Help prepare for the Dasara tomorrow. Help with the painting of the elephants in the morning. Then serve at the puja for me. Will you do this? Ah. 
you are the man Damji from the village of Nanchingut. I am he. Did you ever see so many people come to the Dasara before? I am Ganga Ram, brother of Indira, who was burned in your village. Why did you not tell the military the truth of what you saw? I, I did tell the truth. There was a heavy darkness. I, I could not see enough to know who they were. You lie. You told the military there was but one man. Now you speak of they. But I tell the truth. By the goddess Shamandi, I swear it. Only did I stand nearest the one carrying the torch to light the fire. How near did you stand to him? Perhaps the length of an elephant. And why did you not fight him before he could start the fire? There were many in the shadows. And I did not know your sister was in the house. You lie. And if the man carried a torch, his face would be plainly lighted. Yet you told the military you could not see it. I have said the truth. I could not see him. Damji, I, I am sorry I have spoken to you thus. I am very tired. Before daylight this morning, I stood at the barracks, waiting outside the quarters of General Poligar. Barracks? General Poligar? I.e., I told him I was sure the evil ones would be in the crowds of the Dasara. I begged him to dispatch men to search for them. What did he say? He only laughed at me. He cares nothing for the life of a villager. He cares only for his uniform and parade. What did he say? He grabbed me by the arm. He said, have you no respect for the Dasra? Have you no respect for the law? You have broken the law by coming to the barracks and you shall be punished for it. Now get out. Aye, that is exactly as he spoke to me at the village. I have three little ones at home. I knew if I were to tell him... I knew it. I know you have more to tell, Gunji. I will make you a bargain. Tell me what you know. And as I am a true Hindu, I swear on my life, I will tell no one. What did the man look like, Damji? But if I were to tell you different from the military, I would go to prison. I swear on my life, they will never know. Strong man. He wore a small dark beard and a big nose. By his side, he carried a long sword. Did he speak to you? I, he said if I dared speak of what I saw, my house also would be burned. That is why. I understand, Dungey. But now you must help me. Help? But how? I want you to search the crowd and find him. No. But, Damji, all you need do is point him out to me, then you may leave. And I promise you, never again will you be asked to do more. This man is the killer of my sister, Damji. You must do it. You would come with me? Not now. Already I am late for the painting of the elephants. And I must serve at Puja for His Highness. But then... After the blessings of the elephants, I will be able to leave the pagoda. You know, Polagar, this warning poster is excellent. It clearly states the penalty for anyone who dares disturb the desert. True, Highness. And they have been displayed everywhere. But only this morning... The young Mahout, Ganga, came to my quarters at barracks with the outrageous demand that the military search the Dasara crowd. When I refused, he threatened to make the search himself. Search? But we have no description of them. Besides, it would disturb the entire... 
type. I Dasher. warned him of the penalty awaiting those who dare disturb the Dasher. But the boy has no respect for our religion or our laws. I crave permission to invoke penalty. General Polidar, the boy is under a great mental strain. His only sister and her husband were murdered by these evil ones. Furthermore, I do not believe it is true that he has no respect for our religion and the laws. He knows full well that two of his kind are paying the penalty of a year in prison for entering barracks without written orders. The two you speak of scaled the walls for the purpose of stealing arms. The boy must have entered through the gate. Now, why, may I ask, did your guards not stop him? Highness, may I speak freely? You may speak freely. I beg you, do not regard this as a criticism. It is not meant to such. You ask me why my guards did not stop him. I will tell you. They are frightened to stop him. They know, as everyone knows, that he walks freely through the palace to see you whenever and wherever he may. Although others of his kind are afraid to enter the palace, even with order. So it is I am a laughing stock to my staff, for they know full well that any others who dare to enter the barracks will be thrown into prison. Not long ago, he was even seen to enter the palace with a baby elephant. His position as a mahout is resented by the others, for the law says one may not be placed in charge of an elephant until one is 18 years of age. I know I have favored the boy. You need not tell me this. But your memory is short. Less than a year ago, when the boy's father was killed trying to save the life of my Ronnie, you and the others agreed that an exception should be made in this case. Why, may I ask, do you now choose to forget this? But, Highness, I, I do not forget. I, I remember very well in... In all humbleness, I, I merely suggest perhaps our decision was a mistake. I suppose I have become too fond of the boy. General Polagard, I will have a talk with the boy just before Puja and see that he does not make this search of which you speak. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must dress for the doctor. our puja ceremony, that is the worship and blessing of our animals and other things we use in our living, I think you will enjoy most the gathering of the units in the palace yard.
looks like him. And besides, he has a sword. Not many coolies have swords. Not just so. It must be he. But Ganga, if you call the military now, I will they... not call the military until I am sure. Do not worry, Ganji. I will keep my promise to you. No one will ever know. I have brought two friends who will help me. When you are out of sight, I will call them. Go you now. You kill my sister. You make a bad mistake, young one. We are entertainers. He has no voice with which to answer you. The point of my knife will make you speak. Ganga! Ganga, do not lose your head! Let me kill him! Let me kill him! Hey, Ganga, do not be a fool! What if the woman speaks the truth? You know well the penalty for making trouble at Dasara. I think you should let the boy call the military. I think you should let him create a disturbance. I think he should pay the penalty that should come of it. You speak with the split tongue of a snake. I shall be willing to suffer the penalty if I am wrong. Akbar, go tell the captain of the guard to come quickly. Wait. If you have no respect for the most sacred of Hindu ceremonies, at least we are respectful of it. Our business keeps us here for several days. Let the matter rest until tomorrow. Then we will willingly come. No. Now that I have found him, I do not chance losing him. Akbar, do as I have said. No, Akbar. Wait, Ganga. 
I have a better plan. Why not take them and lock them up? This is ridiculous. I think you are also up to fire demon worshippers. Well, you have your choice. You can come with us quietly to the stables, or I call the military. We will come to the stables with you. But when it is found that we are wrongly accused, you will suffer for this. Come, Luba. finish with these other matters later. I do not wish to be late to my meeting with Sir Cedric. Pardon, Highness. I do not like to disturb you, but I have captured the man who killed my sister. You have captured... Yes, Highness. The... Yesterday, during Dasar, I found him. Why did you not tell me this? But I know nothing of it. Speak up, boy. If someone has been taken into custody, where is he? Why was this not reported to me? I did not want to make trouble during Dasar. So they were locked in the howdah room where they spent the night. In the howdah room? You mean to tell me that someone has been taken into custody without the knowledge of the military? Gunga, I cannot believe this is true. If this is another one of your jests... But it is not a jest, Highness. I saw the man during Dasra. He was with a woman. I did not want to make a Gunga, disturbance. Gunga, you have said that. How did you know it was he? Who told you? On what evidence did you take this man into custody? He has no evidence. I myself have questioned the man Damji, the only person who saw this man. It was very dark. He couldn't give us even the slightest description. Thunder, how then did you know the man? I just know, Highness. In all your reports of their evil worship, it is said that some of them carried flaming swords. This man carries a sword, and the woman... She may even be the high priestess about which we have heard. Gunga, do you mean to tell me because a man carries a sword, you have him locked up as a murderer? And what right have you to take the law into your own head? This is the most preposterous thing I've ever heard. This boy you should... be quiet. Rama, go to the stables. Have Singh bring the people to my study in the east wing at once. Gunga, you will stay here in the custody of General Polakar until I return. Highness. Your name, please. I am Marco Tonjore, an entertainer. And this is my assistant, Luba, who is also an entertainer. What is this you tell the people about worshipping a fire demon called Sabaka? Tell the people. Oh, but Excellency. Though I have read much about the religions of India, never have I heard of this demon of which you speak. But, my dear young lady, the Maharaja has received information that you have followers who carry flaming swords. <laughs> oh, such tales these villagers carry. Luba, show them the purpose for which we use the flaming sword. So many times has Luba swallowed the flaming sword that no longer has he a voice to defend himself. Now. 
now, you see, with this and other piece of interest, we amuse the people of the villages. It is in this manner that we travel from village to village, making our living. Of course, uh, you are aware of the punishments accorded those who would tell lies in this room. Oh, you're a big one, all right. Bigger than the military. Bigger than General Polygar. Soon you will even question the importance of His Highness himself. Such is not true. He will find out they are fire demon worshippers. And that I am right. He is no fool. Come. There is someone I must see before we leave here. <laughs> and they were nowhere near the village of Najangud. Both Sir Cedric and I were convinced beyond any doubt that these people had been wrongly accused. But you are wrong, Sir Cedric. Gunga, you are speaking to the Maharaja of Bakor. I am sorry, Highness. Sorry is not enough. It seems you have lost all respect for rules, for laws. Now, even for me, if you were a man, you would be thrown into prison for your actions. You will not receive such a punishment. But punished you will be. You will turn your elephant over to sing. And you will work in the palace kitchens. No. Highness, please, Tila. Enough, Ganga. One month, the elephants leave for the teak lumbering. At the camp, the bull will be turned over to a new Mahat. Meantime, Singh will care for him. And remember this, Ganga. There are worse punishments than working in the palace kitchens. Pardon, Highness. Your refreshments. Gunga, uh, Why must I always be disturbed? I, I, I said I did not want a refreshment. I am sorry, Highness. Uh, Gunga, just a moment. Yes, Highness? Uh, Gunga, how do you like... Uh, uh, nothing. You, you may go. Highness. Yes? I know that in a few moments you leave for Bombay with Sir Cedric. Such is so. And I know also that you do not return before the elephants leave for the tea clumbering. Well, what is this to do with you, Ganga? Highness, if you would only let me ride Tila to the camp, I could tell his new Mahout how to care for him. As you know well, Highness, I have been with Tila ever since I could walk. My father taught me of his strange ways. He may kill his new rider, or if he is not properly cared for, he himself may die. I could come back on foot the next day, Highness. Uh, no, Ganga. There are good Mahouts in the jungle camp. Yes, Highness. Ganga, after thinking deeply, I... Uh, I think there may be something in what you say. You mean I can go? Oh, thank you, Highness. Oh, no, 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 do not thank me. It is not for you. It is for the good of the elephant, I say yes. You will return immediately to the kitchens and think no more of elephants. Then, then thanks for Tila, Highness.
தாய் பிறந்த இடம் ஐயத்தா குஞ்சி வந்தா தஞ்சையிலே ஐயத்தா படத்தினையில் குறி பொறித்தார் ஐயத்தா அந்த இடம் பார்க்க வந்தார் ஐயத்தா பொன்னியின் பேரு கூட்டார் ஐயத்தா போன இடம் ஐயத்தா பெருமையை பாட வைப்பார் ஐயத்தா ஐயத்தாடுவோம் ஐயத்தா உடவு மலை பிறந்த இடம் ஐயத்தா பொன்னி வந்தார்
Sheila. Sheila, you followed me. Never was I so happy to see you. What is your new rider? I hope you did not kill him. Anyway, you will take me to Jalpur before I take you back. Your head, Tila. Sabaka is angry. More of the people of your villages must come to worship him and pay their tribute. For Sabaka will send his fiery wrath upon them and destroy them all. Young Maha Ganga. I found him spying on us. Quiet, worshippers of Sabaka. An unbeliever is among us. Akbar, fight him. Where is his elephant? It is in the jungle. When I saw it, I searched and found the boy spying on us. Then bring the elephant forward. If it returns, the Maharaja will send men to seek us out. That I fear. The boy rides the great bull Tila, and none can handle the beast if he is not known to the elephant. We must do something and quickly. The man Kuba worked long with the elephants of the Maharaja. Perhaps he knows the elephant. Good. Kuba! Do you know this one? Oh, most holy high priestess of the searing flame. This is the boy Ganga. It was because of him I was forced to leave the employ of the Maharaja, where I was happy. You know, then, the great bull elephant, this boy rides? Aye, I know the bull well. But the bull would kill anyone who harmed the boy. The bull stands back in the jungle. Could you bring it here? Yes. I think I could, most holy one. But the boy would have to be hidden so the bull could not see him. That will be done. Go bring the elephant. At once, most holy one. Where shall we stake the boy? The boy? So, it is not the boy we sacrifice. It is the bull we burn. We should have the entire village of Jalpur at the feet of Sabaka. And we will bring them all in fear to grovel in the dirt and bring us their rupees to make us rich. Carry him into the jungle and leave him there tied as he is.
I did not know it was you, my beautiful one. How you frightened me. Tiger Taku. 
Now, if this be a fire demon, why does he not devour my tiger? Why does he not devour me? See you now that you have been tricked. Take this evil woman to your village and hold her. And Maharaja Sahib will deal with her. you have lived, Sabaka, and now by fire you shall die. I'm here with the devil, I'm here with the devil. 